Today I share with another video on easy math. In today's video we are going to learn about graphical representation of functions. In previous video we have learnt about functions and mappings from A to B or number of functions from A to B. If you haven't checked it, go check it out in the top right corner of this video. Okay, you may think why I have brought the sets from previous video. You will understand in a short bit. First, you may think how to represent functions graphically. Okay, I will solve your problem. Here, there are two sets A and B, but here there are no sets. Okay, here the function is denoted as f of A to B, a remote from A to B. And next, I have said that. Here, the function of a is 2 and we will denote that as f of a is equal to 2. But here, here also the same way. We will denote that as f of x is equal to y in this case. Because here there are no sets and no values therefore graphically we should take that here set a is the x-axis set b is the y-axis set a is the x-axis and set b is the y-axis and small x and small y are elements of set a means x-axis and small y is elements of set b means y-axis values on y-axis okay and now here during the definition we said that f is the relation of each element of a with unique element in b unique element means only a single element the same line goes in graphical representation too here every value of x should have a single y value what does that actually mean every x value should have a single y value if you draw parallel to y axis means x value is same it should touch the graph at only one point means only one value means only one point it should touch at only one point if it touches at two points it is not a function okay let's take some examples to understand it now let's take an example y is equal to x square as you can see this is a parabola this is the equation of a basic parabola now let's understand it by the definition any lines parallel to or any x value should have only one y value okay now let's take x value 0 or x value minus 1 if we take the x value minus 1, this is the line with x value minus 1. See here, this is the line with x value. It touches at only one point, means it has only one y value, that is 1. Okay, now let's take another x value, x is equal to 1. As you can see, x is equal to 1 also touches at one point, which where the y value is 1. So, x is equal to 1 also have a single y value. Now, let's take x is equal to 2. As you can see, x is equal to 2 also have a single y value. Okay. Now, let's take x is equal to minus 2. x value as minus 2 as you can see this line touches the curve at only one point so this is a function because all the points touch this at only one point okay now let's take another example let's take equation x square plus y square is equal to 4 
or is equal to 5 as you can see this is the equation of a circle here if you see a line line x is equal to minus 1 touches the circle at two points similarly line x is equal to minus 2 touches at two points means x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to minus 1 have two y values now as you can see x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2 also touch this at two two points this means that every single x value have two y values every x value have two y values so this is not a function according to function definition okay guys now let's discuss about codomain domain and range of a graphical representation of function before as we discussed about set sets representation we see that the the elements of set a or domain the elements of set b or codomain the set of images of set a is the set of images of set a is range as we come to the graph the domain is the real values of x for which the function f of x is true for example let's take function sine inverse x sine inverse x as you can see this is the graph of sine inverse x as you can see according to the definition all real values of x for which f of x is real here as, as you can see the f of x is real between minus 1 and 1 only so the domain of this function is minus 1 comma 1 how to denote this okay for denoting this for denoting this as a text first we will denote the closing closing square bracket closing square bracket and the values between which the function lies is nothing but minus 1 comma 1 and the opening bracket okay now let's discuss what about codomain here the codomain means in sets all the values of set b here set b means all the value all the values of y axis so here codomain is all the values of y axis now what is range as we all know range is the set of images of set a set of images of set a here the set of values of f of x for all values of x here this function lies between minus 1 and 1 so the values of f of x between minus 1 and 1 between minus 1 and 1 as you can see as we all know the sign sine 90 degrees or sine pi by 2 is 1 so the exact value of y at this point is pi by 2 or 1.56 at this point is minus pi by 2 or minus 1.56 so the function the range of the function is minus it is denoted by same brackets like before minus 1.56 comma 1.56 okay 